Welcome to the Statistics Arcade. Prepare to level up your stats. This is level 3, T-Test Assumptions. The Independent Measures T-Test has four assumptions. Assumption number one. The independent variable is dichotomous, meaning divided into two parts. There is always a group A and a group B in an independent measures t-test. That is, the centipede scores for group A have to be independent of the centipede scores for group B. A player in group A cannot also be a player in group B. Also, the scores of all of the players within a group should be independent of one another. So, if you were running this research study, you would have each player take a turn at centipede with no one else around. Assumption number two. The dependent variable is quantitative and usually measured on the interval ratio scale. Most arcade video games track players' progress with points that add up for completing certain actions. For example, when a player hits a segment of the centipede, the score increases by 10 points. Hitting the head increases the score by 100 points. The t-test does not work with data that are qualitatively different, such as a measure of different eye colors. Assumption number three, the dependent variable should be normally distributed. A normally shaped distribution will have what is called a bell-shaped curve. If we created a histogram of all 50 centipede scores, for example, it should approximate a bell-shaped curve. This assumption is checked by looking at a histogram of the scores. Assumption number four, score variability is equal across groups. This is the homogeneity of variance assumption. If, for example, there is a wide range of centipede scores for the energy drink group, but everyone in the water drink group scores about the same, that could violate the homogeneity assumption. This assumption is examined with the Levine's test. What if an assumption is violated? The t-test is generally robust to violations of assumptions of normality and homogeneity unless sample sizes are extremely small or group sizes are extremely different in size. If equal variance is not assumed, researchers can use the Welsh's T, which is a more conservative test. Thanks for joining me. If you like what you've seen so far of Statistics Arcade, please like this video and subscribe. Join us for the next installment of Level 3, T-Test Formulas.